All right, it's been a while since we've made an outfit together, so let's just get stuck like right into this one. Now to make this outfit, you're going to need a C2 keep. That's what you need to make any logo outfit pretty much. So if you don't have one of those, go and make one of those. The C2 keep that I use is always a topless, but a Navy Smart Jacket C2 keep is also fine. Or if you still use the grey ba baggy hoodie from back in the day, that's fine too. Just make sure you have that applied and then save that in your C2 spot. You see me here, I've got the merge pants on, but we don't actually use the, the bottom half from this outfit. So whether you've got merge pants on or not, it doesn't really matter. The only thing that matters at this point is that we've got our C2 keep saved in our C2 spot, which for me is slot two. It always is. I'm just pedantic about my setups. They're always really the same. Don't want to be here today. Now for our C1 outfit we're going to go into racing suits and we're going to choose the logos that we actually want on this outfit. Now it can be any of these except for the top one you don't need a logo C1 to use white logos but for this outfit I'm going in with these the ones off the grey racing suit I call them the yellow logos I call them the 6-9 logos people call them the dinker logos whatever you call them that's what we're using and that's what I'm saving in my slot 20. I'm just going to label that C1 so that I don't get confused because I confuse easily. Now so we're going to use those two outfits to merge on the top that we're going to use you know to build upon. The top that I use for my C1 merge is always the sand gun running. Now I switched from the yellow t-shirt I mean I switched from the old school t-shirts because on mail they check it and when you want to switch logos that got annoying so I switched to the gun running t-shirts for all of my logo merges. So for our C1 we've got the racing suit, our C2 is just the C2 keep and then in our merge spot we've just got the sand gun running t-shirt saved. So we're going to walk outside and we're going to set up our parachute, we're going to switch that to Israel or make sure that it is set to Israel. We're going to apply our C1 outfit and then we are going to set the parachute to on. We'll just beef those two outfits together And then when you load in, if you if you use a topless for your C2 keep, your torso will be invisible, but it doesn't revert like it does with male, so that's okay. You'll be wearing the Navy Smart jacket if your C2 keep is the Navy Smart. But if that's what you have, then you can enter a player owned crooker cop, and then we will go over to the merge outfit, which is the sand gun running t-shirt, and then we'll just switch back to our current outfit. We can just ready up and enter the job. We've now like set up our logos onto our merge top and we're going to start building upon this outfit. So if you just made your C2 keep make sure you move that out of the way when we drop back into a session. But this is what you pull out of Crooked Cop, this is good, this is how we want it to look. We're just going to save this in our C1 spot. Although you don't see me force a lot of saves in the clip footage, I actually do because I do tend to drop out of my sessions a lot, it just does. But moving on. So for our C1 outfit, we're taking our pants and leg, our, and shoes at the same time. So we want on the gold print fitted suit pants. And then we're going to set our shoes to no shoes. On this outfit, I also want the black desert scarf. So we're just going to apply that to our C1 outfit. Um, over here. So this is our C1 outfit saved. We're actually keeping this race belt and changing it to black. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to go into utility vests and we will put on the ice plate carrier that will give us the black racing belt if you want one of the other colors there on my lists. But for this outfit we're using the ice plate carrier. We are going to put on our C2 merge leg and shoe which is the sand cargos. And then for our shoes we're going to put on the red cross trainers. Now to stop our scarf from changing colour, we are going to put on the pink hoop earrings. Uh, you see anything you like? And then we're going to save this in our C2 slot. This is going to tell our C1 outfit what we want it to do. This is actually telling it that we want it to merge our legs and shoes. So we're going to grab a deadline suit. It doesn't matter what colour. We're not keeping these standard colours. We're actually changing it to black. We're just going to grab any Tron suit and we'll save that in our merge spot. And then this is what your setup should look like. Now with those three outfits set up, we are going to set up a classic bef for this. 
so we're going to go into parachute and we will set the parachute bag to classic and then we're just going to buff those two outfits together and then when you spawn back online you'll see that your race belt has changed to black and that you're pretty much wearing the C1 outfit except it did what it was told so now we can enter a crooked cop player owned and then we'll just go over to the Tron suit and then back to our current outfit and then we have pulled all the pants and shoes together like you see right here we're just going to apply an earpiece to this and then leave through creator and then back into an invite only session now we're just going to save this in our C1 spot make sure to remove any earpieces there's nothing else we can do to this. If we try to do anything to this, it will glitch away. So we're just going to save this in C1 and we're just going to leave this as it is. Now, to change our pants and shoes to black, we're going to put on the aqua camo cargo pants on our legs. We are going to go into rubberized boots and we'll put on the woodland trail boots on our feet. Now I want merge armor on this, so I'm going to go, I'm going to open the interaction menu and then we're going to apply heavy armor to C2. And then we are going to apply those same pink hoop earrings again just to stop the scarf from changing colour. If you don't apply those, it'll switch to um, tan or whatever the first colour is. We don't want that. We want it to stay black. So let's put on those pink hoop earrings. After that, we'll go into gloves and then we'll put on the grey digital tactical gloves. We're actually doing quite a bit of the outfit in this step, so once you've got those done, we will save that in C2, and this is what our C2 outfit is going to, you know, tell our C1 outfit to do. For our merge spot, we're just going to go into biker suits, and then we're going to grab the black biker suit, because we want the black, you know, these racing gloves on this outfit. So this is what your setup will look like at this point. And then, you know, if you've got that done, if you're feeling confident, then you can, you know, walk this outside. This is another classic Beth, so just make sure, I mean, it will still be set to a classic from before, so you can just go ahead and Beth these together. And then as far as obvious Beths go, I mean, this one's pretty, pretty obvious. So, yeah, when you spawn into a session, you this is what you'll have. All we need to do is just enter a crooked cop, player owned, and we will just grab those gloves and we'll put them onto this outfit. Just like that. Right, when we're ready up and into the job, we'll, you know, apply an earpiece, just as we always do, and then leave through creator. Now, this is our C1 outfit at built. We've done it. That's good. If you've come this far, congratulations. We're nearly there. So we're going to save this one in C1. This has a race belt on it. So the merge armor is actually going to cover the invisible part that would be there because the race belt's there because a shirt usually occupies that layer. But anyway, for our C2 outfit, we need our C2 keep again. We're just going to change the pants to the aqua camo cargo pants just to stop the Tron pants from changing. Shoes don't matter. It's an Israel Beef. And then since I'm using the top list, I have to access gloves through the interaction menu. But we are going to put on the grey digital tactical gloves again, because coincidentally that blocks the black biker gloves. So that's what we're going to do, and this is what our C2 keep is going to look like. If you're using the navy smart jacket, that's the same. But yours will obviously be wearing the navy smart jacket and not this invisible number that I've got right here. So, I mean, as long as your C2 keep is in C2 and looks like this, it's fine. Now the tops, the top that I'm actually putting on this, I'm going into overcoats and I'm going to put on the black cashmere coat. This one here, and as I said before, the race belt layer occupies where that, you know, where you can see your chest, so that's why it turns invisible. I'm actually going to cover that by just applying some, just some black sanded armor. And then the way we've got our C1 and C2 set up is actually going to take those two parts together. So this is what we want in our merge spot. And then that is our C1. Our C2 is just our C2 keep. That part's always done if you always have a C2 keep. And then in our merge spot is just the tops and armor that we want on the outfit. It doesn't have to be these colors. You can do this in any color you like. It doesn't have to be black. I've got 
all the stuff on my list and the stuff doesn't need blocking. This is the final step. But for this Beth, we're going to set our parachute bag back to Israel. We're going to apply the C1 outfit and that. If you are wearing a Navy Smart Jacket, you will also need to apply a pair of glasses. And then when you spawn into a session, you'll see here that the only thing about the outfit that needs replacing is the top. So then we can just jump into another player own crooked cop. We'll just grab those that jacket and the armor, put those together with our current outfit. And then this is this is the outfit pretty much done. This the cool thing about this outfit actually, earpiece it, is that you can you can apply glasses to it. I'm pretty sure. I'm, I think you can apply glasses to it, and nothing glitches away. And the also, also the cool thing about it is that you can open the interaction menu and apply a rebreather and nothing glitches away. And you can also just go into the hats and apply a hat and nothing glitches away. The amount of outfits that glitch away when you do that stuff is honestly frustrating. So to make something that doesn't do that, I think is really cool. But yeah, so that's what I end up doing. I end up just, you know, putting a rebreather on, putting on a helmet. I know I'm going to put a duffel bag on this because I think it would look fucking sick. But anyway, I hope I hope you had fun making this outfit with me because it was. I mean, I made this a couple of times before I was happy, but I'm quite happy with how this one turned out. And I know you guys are going to make some sick, some sick versions. I really do. So I mean, tag me in your versions. I always love to see it. I'm very enthusiastic about you guys' outfits. I think I think you guys make some some really cool stuff. But anyway, thank you for watching.